For the final project, we chose to write a letter with the approach of the restorative justice topic. Um, the letter was between Jacob Barber and Lori Barber, the mother, from the perspective of Lori Barber. Um, Lori did place a lot of blame on herself rather than Jacob or Andy because she felt like most of it was her fault and that everything that happened the way that it did was her fault. This letter is her way to bring peace back in her life after creating such a wreck of her son's life and killing him. So it starts off as, My dearest Jacob, I know you were probably very scared to wake up in the hospital with me not being there by your side. Being by your side with you wrapped in my arms brings me comfort in knowing that you are okay. Everything that has happened has happened for a reason. Your grandfather Billy is the reason you are not in jail. He set up Leonard Pats to protect you because we all love you and would like to see you succeed in life. I know to most people that is definitely the wrong thing to do, especially from someone who has had a past that has destroyed the liability of your grandfather. But your father was so certain that you were not responsible for this and that you were not the boy that everyone says you are. Everything that has happened is not your fault. This past year has taken a major toll on me mentally and I've had numerous pressures that I've been trying to escape from. Wouldn't expect you to understand, but I just felt so bored. And the more I saw those who I thought were friends start to turn on us and use us for information, the more I just felt alone. Because of this, I was more driven to protect you and to make sure everyone knew that you were not capable of such a horrible act. It was my influence that did cause your father to go seek your grandfather for help, but I was the one who ended up getting a DNA swab to use a murder gene to get the jury to be less harsh on there are so many different factors that could be an explanation for anything. I know that you were worried about possessing the murder gene and the DNA tests so you didn't have it, but there had to have been another possible explanation for why so many people were convinced you were responsible. Another argument that was brought up was that your relatives, including your father, have this lack of empathy and are more prone to violence. Your father and I have suffered greatly this past year, but we both cannot imagine the suffering that you must have gone through. To have all your classmates and friends think that you're someone who you're not. For me, I just wanted all the suffering to end, and for you, and for your father, and for me, I wanted to do everything that I could to put an end to everyone's suffering. Your father and I were convinced that you were innocent, but unfortunately not everyone felt the same way, and the battle took a toll on us, and you were so strong this past year, and we were so proud of you for that. With all this effort to clear your name, and there, there was no doubt in my mind that you were innocent, I felt so relieved and as if a weight had been lifted off my shoulders. And yours as well, when Larry Pats was said to have confessed and ended his life in getting the case dismissed. I thought that it was a good idea to go on a family trip to Mexico, but what you may not have known during the trip was that your father gave me some news that Leonard Pats' death was not a suicide and your grandfather was involved in the outcome of your case. With this in mind and the disappearance of your friend, Hope, it was as if a whole new wave of pressure and not doubt, but concern. I was concerned for your safety at that point and was worried about those who were involved with your case would start asking questions and would be right back to where we started. Even though hope was found and your name was cleared again, I was still scared. I was scared for all of us, you, me, and your father. I did not know what to do at this point. I was scared for your future and that you would or would not be accepted by others. I was scared for your career and your father's too. We didn't know if we still wanted at our places of work. And the day we got in the car, and I asked you if you really mur did murder Ben, plus other questions, my emotions and stress got the best of me in that situation. I had no intent to harm you in any way. I love you so much, and I would never want to cause pain to my own son. The more questions I asked you, the more I got worried about you and did not know how to accept any of it at the time. I wish I could change how things happened that day and I let all the worries and pressures of the situation get the best of me. 
I love you so much, Jacob, and I hope that someday you can come to forgive me. I hope this letter will help you understand and see this from my perspective. Lots of loves and prayers for you. Um, 